Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have an emergency service call for an LG Multi-V system. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. We have a service call for another LG Multi-V4 system. Here's the unit itself. When it comes to troubleshooting these, if multiple rooms have an issue definitely you want to address what they have in common and what's in common is the outdoor unit we have one outdoor unit then it this goes into a branch box and from the branch box we have either eight or nine air handlers and specifically this is a heat recovery system not a typical heat pump this can provide heating and cooling at the same time all year round so the first thing i'm going to do is check inside here here's the main control board and we gotta check to see if there's a code right there. Let's see. C11, compressor one, two six one. So this error code is actually CH26, and unfortunately, I already know the problem. In front of us, we have the LG app. So that two six one error code is actually CH26, and the error title is outdoor unit inverter compressor start failure. And then it says the cause of the error is the first start failure by outdoor unit inverter compressor abnormality. So in English terms, basically the compressor had an overcurrent. So the amps draw was too high and it shut down on that error code. This building has been plagued with faulty compressors. Pretty much the typical case here, as far as the last three or four units that had this issue it's been a compressor change out with the inverter board so before we start getting heavily involved with checking boards and pulling out panels the first thing i'm going to do is wrap my amp meter power is currently off i have my amp meter across one of the three wires for the compressor this is a three-phase compressor dc volts and we're gonna give this uh, a reset. When I turn off the power, I give it about five minutes just for everything to de-energize. I'm sure there's a bunch of rooms calling. So what we're gonna do is actually reset the machine. It's gonna be the fastest way of troubleshooting. And we're gonna put the meter on amps. All right. And we're gonna let this thing start up and do its thing and pay attention to the amp draw. If it's just like, amp draw it just goes high up like boom and it's high amperage like over 20 amps or so 30 amps that compressor is done there's no reason to just check the rest and when you change the compressor it's just complementary did you gotta change the inverter board like those go hand in hand with each other so the way that this is supposed to start it's supposed to like gradually increase with amps that would be good but if it's just like a high amperage it's probably locked rotor and before you know the breaker pops or whatever the machine senses it and it shuts down on that ch26 code by turning the power back on the code was reset we got to give this thing a chance and hopefully this thing tries to start and when it does we're gonna wash that amp draw two thousand years later Right there, you saw that? Yep. Right there. Look at that high, it just goes high. It doesn't, doesn't try to go slow. Look at that, 32 amps. That compressor is done, guys. It's done. Look at that, it's supposed to slowly rise. One, two, three, look how it's jumping. And there we go. The error code is back. CH26. So at this point, Honestly, I have other videos if you guys are interested. In this case, you wanna change, you wanna check the, uh, the main board. You wanna check, make sure that power board is doing its thing. You wanna check the converter board, inverter board. Also do insulation resistance test on this compressor. And I guess we could run that test just to see what's going on. But clearly guys, right here, as you can see with that amp draw, what's going on is that this compressor failed mechanically so something inside there broke and whatever the quote-unquote the gears right they're not turning they're they're locked up 
and that's what's happening what we could do is do the insulation resistance test to see if it failed electrically but clearly it starts and that's just locked rotor right there guys and it is what it is it's a bad compressor i got a ton of wires here but if you look closely in here let's try to maybe get a flathead or try to pry that all right so we got those three wires all right guys power's off and we got the three wires off the terminals i have one lead on one terminal and the other one is grounded to the casing of the motor we're gonna run a 500 volt insulation resistance test so let's see i'm gonna hold down test oh look how low that started below 100 200 reading that's honestly pretty low underneath 100 this thing is done but clearly the insulation is not doing well this thing was running hot and the insulation resistance is not giving me great readings right now it's a bit tight how do i get in here okay let's test this one oh below 100 again at starting and I'm kind of ending off around 136 and slowly slowly climbing but that's definitely no good now we're going to check the last one all right last one starting out really low again about the same starting a little bit under 100 and then slowly making its way up to the 200s but still that's that's super low typically on a good one this thing is above 4,000 but yeah under 100 that thing is 100 percent done we're almost we're almost failed electrically but clearly this thing failed mechanically as we saw the amp draw so the case here is going to be the same for the others we're going to change the compressor with the inverter board we're going to wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time